In this video, we'll write the net ionic equation for CuSO4 plus NaNO3, copper 2 sulfate and sodium nitrate. First thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. It looks like if we put a 2 here, that'll have two sodiums. Those are balanced. Two nitrates here. We have the two nitrates here, copper and then a sulfate and a sulfate. So we're good. This is the balanced molecular equation. Now we can write the state for each substance. That looks like this. Sulfates in general are soluble, so we have our sulfates here. We'd expect those to be soluble. Compounds with sodium should be soluble, and compounds with the nitrate ion, soluble. So everything here is soluble. So when we put these two chemicals together, nothing really happens. We have the same ions we start with and we end with. If we look at the complete ionic equation, that might make that clearer. So we have our reactants on top and our products on the bottom. And you'll see that they're the same ions. The order might be a little differently, but we have the exact same ions on the top here in the reactants than the bottom of the products. So if we crossed out spectator ions, ions that were the same on both sides, copper two ion, that's a spectator ion, the sulfate ion, that's a spectator ion. We have two sodium ions, two sodium ions in the products. And finally, two nitrate ions, and again in the products, two nitrate ions. Everything's a spectator ion. Everything crossed out, nothing changed. So for this reaction, CuSO4 plus NaNO3, that's copper two sulfate and sodium nitrate, there is no reaction. Because of that, we really can't write a net ionic equation that is meaningful. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.